Hello and welcome to another update video about Terra Luna. So the Terra Luna um, forecast seems to be working out. In my last update, I told you that in my opinion, we finished here that wave four and we are already in an impulse to complete that fifth wave here. All of this is forming a larger wave one, which is fantastic because after a larger wave one, you're typically gonna come down once more. And in my opinion, you will come down here into the region between $62 and yeah, 81, 81.50, okay? And that would then, in my opinion, and that is where I will buy, um, this is where I will, yeah, get my next entry, yeah? So, of course, you know, I see currently a lot of questions also from the channel members about my buy orders. <clears throat> so for channel members, I publish my own buy orders and sell orders on Discord. Of course, we are now going up, therefore, most of the buy order levels um, are now lower, yeah? So waiting for the next dip. Of course, they are all still very, very active because there is still a significant risk for many cryptos to come down in these regions again, yeah? Therefore, I'm not gonna change many at the moment, but this is sort of the next entry that I'd be looking for. It needs a bit of patience, yeah? Um, but I'm not gonna update the buy order so that you can buy each little dip here. I mean, I'm not doing that because it doesn't make sense, you know? These are, um, you know, the, basically the daily volatility of the crypto market. What I'm more interested in is these dips here, which are more significant and also which will allow for to build better positions, bigger positions, at least in my own portfolio. You know, I'm not telling you to buy. If you buy, that's entirely up to you. You can also buy here. But of course, the upside potential is now lower. But um, I would now expect higher prices still because we can count this as an impulse now, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I have a few um, doubts about that and I showed you that in the last video. I mean, this can be counted, this fifth wave can certainly be counted as a wave one, two, three, four, and now five. Yeah, and that fifth wave should really get into this region at least $121, maybe a little bit lower. Yeah, but um, this is typically what you would expect. And um, the doubt I have about this count nevertheless, um, but we are pushing higher. So in the last video, I told you that this looks still very much like a three wave move. And, um, and because the problem was um, that typically in a third wave, so this is the wave three, yeah. In a third wave, you expect at least the 1.618 Fibonacci, Fibonacci extension to be reached of that um, of that wave one, yeah. So if we draw those Fibonacci levels, you can see that the price did not even reach the 1.618 here at $114. And that is what is a bit problematic, okay? That is what is a little bit problematic. But anyway, you know, um, even if, you, if you're not reaching that 1.618, it now looks more impulsive because I told you in the last video to really, to really get into this target range, Terra Luna now needs to really start. And it seems like it did start here in the last couple of days. So this level, to reach this level is very important because if we reach it, yeah, then this gives me much more confidence in this wave count and that will make it much more likely that then in the next wave, in the wave two, we are going to come down in this region. And that would be amazing because this would allow, um, yeah, basically for uh, new entries. Currently Terra Luna, and you will probably agree, is already fairly high. Um, I mean, we've seen here now on the daily, I know this is actually the four hour chart, we are overbought. On the daily, we are close to being overbought and we actually see already a bearish divergence forming, depending on how high the price is now going to go. But I think even if we go a little bit higher, the RSI will probably not reach the previous high, which will then mean that we are making higher highs on the price chart, but a lower high on the daily RSI. Typically when that happens, you can expect a dip, yeah? a correction that could then be that dip from this target area here um, between, as I said, 121 and roughly $142 then to come to the downside again. And this would be again the nice target area where I would then buy in. So currently it's doing what it's um, expected, uh, expected to do. Yeah, so we are seeing here an impulse play out, even though I'm not entirely happy with that because it didn't reach the 1.618 FIP extension, but you know, it um, it would normally be that minimum target at 1.618. Therefore, I'm a bit, bit skeptical about all of that. But then what would then happen the next one when we reach that up here, you're gonna see that wave two play out in an A, B, C pattern, yeah? And um, then from here, 
we would start again in a wave three and that wave three would then come significantly higher. That would should really do a rocket start from here because a third wave normally is the most bullish wave. In a first wave, people are oftentimes not yet sure if it is really an uptrend. In the <coughs> second wave, obviously it's a correction. In a third wave then, that is when people get more confident. Um, but really the earlier you get in into a wave three, the more profitable obviously it is. So that's what I'm looking for here. And that would then be that third wave entry there after which we should really then see much higher prices. And these corrections are normal, yeah? So again, everybody who's saying, right, um, you know, fundamentals of Terra Luna, I'm very well aware of them, but nevertheless, markets move in waves and you can just see that how it played out here. So markets move in waves, nothing moves up in a straight line. And this is actually a super bullish wave count because you need these stronger corrections to build a foundation for higher prices, yeah? So really looking forward to that. Um, I'd be very, very happy to get that wave two in and cash in there and well, basically buy in there, yeah? And I still have, hold some Terra Luna, so I am actually gonna take some profits also in that green, t green wave one target area and that um, is very much in line with my current sell orders for um, channel members. Yeah, that's my view on Terra Luna. Um, good performance today. So hopefully, uh, yeah, next target or next main, main resistance would be that 121 US dollar level. Okay, so hopefully you liked the update about Terra Luna. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.